Hello there everyone, welcome to the channel. Now before we get started, please watch this video all the way to the end. It helps with the YouTube algorithm, so I recommend this video, so please watch it all the way through. You don't even have to watch it, just leave it playing on me while you do something else. Also, if you could drop a like on this video, that would be great. It really helps the channel out, or a dislike if you disagree with me. Let's have a fun discussion in the comments, and consider subscribing with notifications turned on if you like. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. How to Train Your Dragon 2 is okay. I really don't have strong feelings about this these movies so far. I just think they're perfectly fine entertainments, but nothing special. First of all, I think it would have been better if they didn't spoil that Hiccup's mum was alive in the trailer. I don't see why they did that. The start of the movie was very, very slow, and I'm not sure if it was just because I watched it in the morning, but I just wasn't interested in what was going on with the whole dragon racing thing. It then moves on to Hiccup and Toothless, which is where I got a bit more interested, as the relationship between Hiccup and Toothless is fun to see throughout the movie, especially at the start. There's also really good chemistry between Hiccup and Astrid, so that was fun to watch, and another distraction from the slow pace. Also, the relationship between Stoic and Valka was done very well. I think often in media, when the wife or husband are perceived to be dead after a very long time, and it turns out they're not, it usually plays the other half as grateful and happy, but also very angry and frustrated. But here, Stoic is just in awe that his wife is alive and couldn't be happier, singing and dancing with her. It's very enjoyable to watch, and one of the stronger moments in the movie. Drago Bloodvist, real creative name you've got there, Dreamworks, was a decent enough villain. When he turned Toothless on Stoic, making Toothless kill him, it was very unexpected. Now, I have to admit, I knew that Stoic was going to die because the movie was on TV at one point ages ago, and I saw that Stoic died. But when I did watch that Stoic died on TV, it was a surprise to be sure. But a welcome. No, no, it was very shocking and I honestly couldn't believe it. Comedy is still good. I would say there is a lot less entertaining and fun sequences in this movie compared to the first one. But I think this movie has more meaningful sequences. And Fishlegs reading out them Yu-Gi-Oh cards is perfection. I noticed that some bits of music sounded a lot like they were from Ice Age, the Meltdown. But that checks out as John and Powell worked on both. Overall, I like the movie. It's perfectly fine. I definitely don't think this series is amazing yet. I'll have to watch the third one to see how I feel about this trilogy, but yeah, How to End Your Dragon 2 is a 6 out of 10. Thank you all for watching, tell me your thoughts on the movie, and I'll see you next time. A uh, goodbye.